Good day, everybody, and welcome to Sunday Praise. And I'm Brother Brian Hewitt. Bring come back to you and share with you the living word of God. And we thank you on this day, this beautiful sunny day here in Los Angeles. But we have brothers and sisters in the Houston and the Gulf area. Houston has about 26 inches of snow of rain already, and and other parts are up to three feet to four feet of rain. So we lift up our prayers to them, and we're going to be speaking of the safety net from God. So before we get going, let's put our fingers in Psalm 32. We'll be doing some brief tap dancing through the scriptures. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, we love you. We lay our hearts before you are the reason why we live from the secrets of the heart. We thank you for the unity of the Holy Spirit to be of one mind and one judgment of Christ. We thank you for your time, your love, and your truth, O oh Lord. In the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Psalms 32, verse 7. You are my hiding place. You will protect me with songs of deliverance. So you're de you are going to be delivered from this storm for those down in the, in the, in the Gulf Coast. All of us can be delivered from any tribulations. Just put your trust, meet God halfway, go on to that journey of faith, and just come into that new life. And another topic that my wife recently did, hate is the new love. It seems very easy in today's world and very fashionable to hate one another. Where before we would love, respect, look out for each other. Why do we have to wait for a catastrophe to look, for each, to look out for each other's neighbors when we, we could be doing this every day, every day, and every day? Exodus 14, 14, the Lord is with me. You need only to be still. Keep your thoughts clear. Keep your yourself lifted up in prayer. Pray unto God. Pray to those who, who are around you, near you, and dear to you. And let this time, as I often say, be the endless rhyme of your love, the road of grace, and the righteousness of truth. Proverbs 4.23 Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from your heart. So guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. God has, will give you, to those who aren't born again, God will give you a new heart. He will take away the old, old heart, throw, throw that old heart into the sea, sea of forgetfulness, and give you an anointed, blessed heart. And guard, guard that heart. Make that these decisions for you. Let, don't let another day go by. So sing unto the truth, sing unto the Lord, sing unto the praise, it's the songs of deliverance. So above all else, as Proverbs 4.23 just said to us, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. And then, brothers, one that really hits home what's been going down in the Gulf Coast. And we lift up our prayers from the Myrtle Beach area to the Outer Banks area of North Carolina. Myrtle Beach is in South Carolina to the Outer Banks of North Carolina. There, there is another tropical storm developing there. So let's lift up the safety and the unity of our entire country and the entire world. We are global citizens and brothers and sisters of many different faiths. In Jesus' matchless name. Up to Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through him that strengthens me. Amen. God has strengthened me, Anita. Amen. Everyone. Everyone. Your journey may be going far. Your journey doesn't stop when the Lord says stop. 
Your journey is going to be that expression of your time, your endless rhyme, in Jesus' monstrous name. Now, to, for those who don't know the Lord and who are picking up this broadcast through your cell phones down in the Louisiana area and the Texas Gulf Coast, we want you to come forward right now. We want you to shout at the clouds and say, Be gone! In Jesus' matchless name. So let's go forward together. Yes, yes. Dear Lord, yeah. I acknowledge I know I'm a sinner. I turn my life over to you. I lay my life on the altar of you, O Lord, to take me, love me, I am yours. Yes. Feed me the abundance of your grace. Feed me the abundance of your knowledge, of your wisdom. You. Guide me into your path of your glory. For I am born again, and you are the Son of God that came down to this earth to die for our sins and to rise on the third day so that we could be with you in heaven for eternity. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's my wife praising your name in the background. I'm praising your name, but most important, yes, the angels of heaven are praising your name before the throne of God yes, right now. Right now, brethren, it's not time to wait another day. It's not time to, if we do so, we're letting Satan take up residence even stronger in your life, in your home, in your walk, in your talk. It's time to be bold and courageous and be that warrior champion that God has always wanted you to be. I'm Brian Twilliam Hewitt. On behalf of all of us here, my wife, my family, and safety to those and, and the southeast and the Gulf Coast, we love you in the name of the Lord. Let's pray. Oh, dear Lord, we love you. We come upon you on this day to lift up the, your safety net from God. We thank you for all that you do to us and all that you say. In Jesus' matchless name. Brethren, we walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir, adios, good day for the people. Praise God and praise God.